Can you answer these true and false questions about standard error? I'm going to read you each statement, give you the answer, and give you an explanation as well. Make sure you're ready to pause if you need more time. Number one, SEM and standard deviation are the same thing. Is this true or false? This is obviously false. Standard deviation shows the data spread while SEM shows the mean precision. Number two, to calculate SEM, you divide the standard deviation by the square root of the sample size. Is this true or false? Yeah, this is true. A standard error of the mean is pretty easy to calculate. All you do is you take the standard deviation and divide it by the square root of n. Number three, SEM increases when you collect more data points. Is this true or false? This is false. Collecting more data points usually lowers the SEM. Number four, SEM can never be larger than the standard deviation. Is this true or false? This is true because you divide the standard deviation by a number, so that's going to mean it's going to be lower than the SEM. Number five, in AP Biology, error bars often show plus or minus two SEM to represent 95% confidence. Is this true or false? This is true. To show 95% confidence, we use plus or minus two standard errors of the mean. Number six, when sample size is one, SEM is undefined. Is this true or false? This is true because whenever we use a sample size of one, you can't really show variability or variation in the data. Number seven, SEM can be negative. Is this true or false? This is false and standard error is based on standard deviation, which will always be positive. And last one, number eight, standard error tells you the probability that your hypothesis is correct. Is this true or false? This is false. SEM or standard error, the mean measures mean precision.